All right, everyone. Uh, today's project uh, is very cool. Uh, there's lots of opportunities for you to make it uh, your own with different color choices and different patterns and things like that. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, people in a place that make art that is very interesting. And uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to talk about the project, which is MOLAs. A MOLA is a fabric work of art that is made by people who live in Panama. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, here's the uh, North and South America. And right in the middle where they meet is what is called Central America. So Central America is these countries here going all the way through from Mexico, which is in North America, down to Colombia and South America. Uh, the art we're talking about, molas, come from this country right here, Panama. Uh, Panama is a very warm place. Uh, there are opportunities to go on uh, vacation there and things like that. And they have a very neat thing called the Panama Canal, which you know lets you go from one side uh, to the other without having to go all the way around South America. It's very similar to uh, the Sioux Locks that we have here in Michigan. So the people in Panama would make these traditional uh, fabric artworks. And they used to make the artwork uh, to wear on clothing. Uh, now they make the artwork out of fabric to sell and they make them into these kind of like, you know, rectangular shapes. And everything is hand sewn. So they sew it by hand and uh, obviously it's very brightly colored. Lots of patterns, we'll look at that a little closer. Um, Molas are usually made of uh, for, you know, with animals as the theme. So let's take a closer look at how they actually make the project. So what they do is, is they take uh, like a canvas type fabric and they start by making a big uh, shape. So say they're gonna make this flower here. So the white, they make that big and sew it down. And then on top of the white, they make a slightly smaller version of that shape, like this red here, and they sew it down. And then they do it again with the pink, the black, the blue, and then we get here. And then they just keep layering it on top of each other. And that's how they get that sort of intricate outline look that you see. But um, like I said, it's all hand sewn. So they would start with the furthest piece of fabric and then a smaller piece to make the shape and so on and so forth. So as you can see, there's a lot of color, uh, a lot of interesting patterns. Um, it's like I said, almost always animals. Here we have like turtle and they do some things that are uh, they carry it from art to art. For example, this sort of like zigzag, um, sweetly line kind of pattern. You've seen that a couple of times. Here's my example. And we're gonna do a drawing of it, of course. And we're gonna use, uh, if you have marker, that's your best choice. Uh, it'll make it a lot faster and give you some bright colors. If you don't have marker, crayon or color pencil is just as good. Um, it just might take a little longer to make your lines thicker. You'll have two choices today. You'll have this whale, that's what I'm gonna use for my example to show you how to do the project. And you'll have a turtle to choose from. You can work right on the uh, project. You don't have to uh, trace it or anything like that. You're just gonna draw right on it. So I'm gonna show you how we can do some sort of traditional looking mola patterns, like this shapes around the outside of it. We kind of layered from the inside to the outside and the shapes I put in here. And I'll show you some cool patterns you can do in the background and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my camera so you can see the whale that I'm gonna use. So the easiest way to do it, like a traditional mola, is to just take your marker and trace a line around the outside of the shape of the, for me, it's the whale. And you just kind of go all the way around it. And then once you go all the way around it, you can go ahead and start another color on the outside of it. I'm not gonna trace the whole thing around because you get the idea. Then I could switch to a new color. And then I could trace next to that. And you might have to, you know, go in between and go back a little bit to cover up any white spots. And you can do that a couple times. Um, I think I did like three or four times around. Uh, you wouldn't wanna to go too many more times than that. 
because then it'll start to, um, you know, go too far into the background and we won't have any room to put some cool patterns back there. So as you can see, you go all the way around it. And that's the one way you can get the traditional uh, layered look. Then of course you can do stuff inside of it. Um, you could do dots, polka dots. Now when you're doing this though, I want you to really think about it and it's just randomly all over the place. You know, sort of think about what kind of pad lines and you're gonna make, what kind of patterns you're gonna make. So dots, dash, things like that. Um, you know, you can do stripes. You can do zigzags inside the stripes. Uh, anything like that's fine. Now let's talk about the outside of the mole, outside of the fish or turtle or whale or turtle. One of the patterns that I did was this sort of pattern where you repeat sort of like a square shape. So I kind of make like some straight lines next to each other. So I do like four to make like a square. And then I can turn my paper and do four this way of a new color, trying to keep it like a square. And you can change it up and do lots of different colors. It's up to you, or you can do like I'm going to do here. I'm just going to kind of do the same two colors. And that's how I did on my example the background. You could fill up the whole background like that, and that would look really cool. Or you could do parts of it. Another thing we saw with the molas is they did that sort of zigzag line. So what you could do is, you know, you could create sort of a I don't know, almost like a couple of number five stuck together. And then just repeat like we did in the whale by going around the outside of it. And then you can go back if you missed some spots like I did. I can go back with my marker and kind of fill it in. And that is one of the types of patterns we definitely saw in the original molas. So I just kind of do that and go back around it. So the key to this, of course, is taking your time, not rushing, because if you rush, it will not look nearly as cool or nearly as awesome as the uh, originals. So let's go ahead and look back at that uh, original. So here's mine. As you can see, I just did this sort of square pattern all the way through around the outside. I did some cool stuff on the inside um, where I made like some dash lines and went around them. But, you know, like we look at the originals, you know, they really took their time. So this is that kind of number five zigzag shape. So you definitely want to do that um, when you're doing your project. All right. So that's pretty much it for MOLAs. Uh, you'll get your paper and then when you're done with it, you can just take it home um, and it should be cool. All right, enjoy the project.